Hey guys, welcome to San Francisco. Since I did the last vlog kind of in the middle of the day while we were still in Vegas, we kind of just walked around Las Vegas for the rest of the day and we went to the Eiffel Tower. In Las Vegas they had rebuilt a replica of the Eiffel Tower. You're allowed to go up with an elevator all the way to the top of the Eiffel Tower in Las Vegas and you get a really nice view over Las Vegas, over the strip, a lot of the hotels you can see really really far because it was a very nice and clear day. And just as we were on top of the Eiffel Tower in Vegas, the fountain show at the Bellagio Fire and it was really cool to see from top just because you can see all the details and all the movements of all the little individual fountain heads and it's, it was really cool to see. After that we kind of just walked all the way down and back up the strip in Vegas. One thing we came across was a lolly store and in the US everything is super sized so they had giant gummy worms, Snickers bars that weighed about like one kilogram, a jelly bean bar which had pretty much every single jelly bean flavor ever conceived. After a nice dinner at the Bellagio, we went out again once it was dark just to kind of see Las Vegas at night with all the lights and the glowing shows and the flickering and all the spectacle that is going on. The next day we went off to the airport and even the airport in Vegas is really strange because they have gambling machines in the airport. The other weird thing they have as well is vending machines, but not for food. They have vending machines for electronic gadgets, for headphones, for iPads. You can get mobile phones, prepaid mobile phones from a vending machine in the airport. After that we flew off to San Francisco and from San Francisco just grabbed a cab to take us to a hotel which is near Union Square, right in the middle of San Francisco and then we'll just kind of walk through the city just to kind of have a look at a few things, just to kind of get a first view for San Francisco before going off to bed. Now today was our actual first full day in San Francisco and what we did we kind of packed up the tours. So in the morning we got picked up by a tour bus at our hotel, dropped it off at the boat that would take us out to Alcatraz Island. Now the boat tour itself just takes about 5 to 10 minutes, it's a really quick boat tour and it was a really beautiful day, all nice and sunny and we had our first nice view clear of the Golden Gate Bridge. The boat dropped us off at Alcatraz Island and then we are kind of just free to roam around for a couple of hours. There's a lot to see on the island, obviously it's a historic monument, it's all about the history, about the criminals, how Alcatraz came to be, all the things it's been used for, you know, all the notorious escape attempts that happened on the island and so we just kind of walked around had a look at a lot of that. We then went through the 45 minute self-guided audio tour where you just kind of walk through all the cell blocks, you see the dining halls, you see where all the inmates live, they tell you a lot about the background of the inmates, there's actual audio recordings of people who were imprisoned on Alcatraz, there's audio recordings from some of the officers and some of the policemen who were stationed on Alcatraz just to kind of give you a bigger more complete picture of what the conditions were really like living on Alcatraz or being imprisoned on Alcatraz. And then we took a boat back out, back to the mainland, back to San Francisco, and from there we boarded the next tour. This tour took us across the Golden Gate Bridge into Mere Woods. In the Mere Woods, what you can see are giant redwood trees that get up to 2,000 years old and grow up to 100 meters tall. They're gigantic walking through them. But it's just really nice to have a walk through. On our way back to San Francisco, the bus stopped over in Sausalito, which is a small, little, really, really quaint looking town on the northern side of the Golden Gate Bridge overlooking San Francisco skyline and we had some really really delicious self-made ice cream. I had banana caramel chocolate chip which was really 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 good um, because we did have a bit of time. Our bus driver actually dropped us off at one of the viewing points for the Golden Gate Bridge. So we did get to see the Golden Gate Bridge at sunset from the side. It was really nice behind that you could see the San Francisco skyline. It's a really beautiful way and a really beautiful way to end the tour. But I'm really excited to see more of San Francisco, check out some of the iconic areas, have a look at Longman Street, Chinatown, just walk around, experience more of the San Francisco, Californian culture, and I guarantee you I'll do another vlog before we're driving off to Los Angeles. Until next time, I will see you later.